Hello everyone. Surprise third Thursday stream, because I'm not here on Friday. I hope you're doing well. The uh Alan Wake week uh, Alan Wake week continues. And uh we're finally playing Alan Wake 2, and I must say, I am very much looking forward to it. I'm just gonna send a quick text to my mother. I never remember how to spell silver as opposed to sliver. Up the mountains with you. Okay, okay. So, long time no see. It's what? A little bit over 21 hours, I think? We last saw each other at 11.30 p.m. last night. How you been? How you doing? And for those who weren't here that long ago, how you been? How you doing? How's the week treating you? It's not long now until uh, the weekend. Only one more day of work in Australia, at least. Two more in, uh, you know, other countries. I think the I think this is probably my most anticipated game that I actually own. The one that I just haven't touched yet. I was waiting like I could obviously play it on stream or whatever. But I was really wanting to wait to play it on stream as opposed to playing it by myself. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but it's what I did. And here we are. I've had a productive day though, finally. I finally got around to it tidying up at least a little bit because I forgot that I had invited a friend from church over uh, to kind of have lunch here. And uh, then he texted me at, what, 10? 10, 10.30 this morning saying, hey, I'm gonna be over at noon. So I just ran around in a panic trying to clean everything up. And I did. <laughs> But it was, it was good. I need that kind of uh, forced tidiness because I live on my own and because I only inconvenience myself by not being tidy, I don't really have an urge to be tidy. I don't really feel desperate to be tidy. So I can just kind of leave things where they are and just adjust my life around them rather than moving them around my life, which is not the right way to do it by any stretch, but it's also how I do it. <coughs> it was yeah, it was a good day. And tomorrow we're going up the mountain. That's why I'm streaming tonight as opposed to tomorrow. Um, uh, what's the word? I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to getting out of the city. A change of scenery will be very nice. You know, it's always nice to like just be in a different environment. Not so much the different bed part. I will concede that I would very much enjoy coming back to my bed. I think that's a universal experience. That one's own bed, that through hours on hours of hard sleeping has been kind of, I don't know if it's just the bed that's been molded to it or if it's like us as well, but this is kind of like, symbiotic relationship that's formed between the two two of us the bed and myself and you just can't get that kind of vibe going at least not in like three nights with a bed you need that you need to be able to put in the the hard yards so i will be looking forward to coming back to my bed 
but I um, am also looking forward to being out of the city. It is unfortunately quite warm, which is annoying because it means that it's probably not going to be as necessary or even needed to have the wood fire on. And that is honestly half of the reason why I like to go to the Blue Mountains because it, you can light up the fire and get it going. But I don't know. I think it's going to be like 21 degrees Celsius. Let's have a quick look. And that's like not nothing. I mean, sure, it's not like Northern Hemisphere. Uh, Northern Hemisphere cold. But it's still... And neither is it... Sorry, it's not Northern Hemisphere cold, but it's still a little bit nippy. But it's also not quite Australia cold either. I guess it's closer to like... It's getting towards England hot. And I would say wood fire is definitely the teens. And once you go above the teens, then it's not really wood fire temperature. But I guess that's what I get for leaving it so late to go up. But it was the only time that we could book it, so here's what it is, unfortunately. Do we want to boot it? I think we should just boot it up. Let's just get it on. Let's launch this gosh darn game. Alan Wake 2. This is the first time I've actually launched it. Like a professional streamer, I haven't done any reconnaissance. Because I'm professional. So. I know that I know that Alan's in this one. I do know that. Yeah, I'll allow Alan Wake 2 to use my Epic Games account. You better not dox me, Alan Wake 2. Wouldn't like that. Oh, why is it? This is... Why do I have to sign an agreement to play a video game? There are certain aspects that where you... You may vary all through our games in certain situations. Oh, interesting. So they say that we can and will withdraw our games from you. Come on, we're ownership, all right, title and interest into the software and the content is company or our licenses, all other certain it is protected. Da, 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 da. Okay. I just hope I'm not doing a, a Disney and, you know, like waiving my right to ever sue, I don't know, the state of Missouri or something in here. I don't think so. Oh, the privacy policy. Okay. No personal data related to Alan Wake is stored. Other data is stored for as long as it's necessary due to analytical needs. I need to, I've got the Epic Games launcher. Like, you know on Windows where you hover over something and it's got this little, like, tooltip? That's floating just where that mouse is. And I need to tab out, I think, to try and get rid of that. I mean, that does look the, the tightest. We did that and then did that. Sixty nine, nice. Recommendation is to use fifty percent brightness. Okay. I actually don't know what the gamma setting is for my my thing. Is that something I should know? I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit of a badass and and raise it a little bit more because I'm cool like that. 
borderless, check. Subtitles, check. Quality, let's go high. Let's live a little. Oh, I just want to alt tab out of this. Get rid of that. Excellent. That's no longer on the screen. I can come back in here. They turned the desk around. That's nice. Bit of reorganizing. I don't know if that's particularly like a feng shui thing or whatever. I can see that for Alan, because he's in a predicament, I think is probably the best way to put it. Having your back against a wall and looking at the door, not a bad idea. Let's just see if we can do some things here. Oh, interesting. No. Uh, we'll probably crank that. Turn off motion blower. Let's just leave it at high. Do that medium, that's fine. Put that on low. Leave that on low. I leave that on ultra, why not? Might as well try and use ray tracing. Kind of who dares wins, right? Is it going to work? Uh, maybe. Is it going to look good though? Yeah, possibly. How's Alan Wake 2? Well, may I just say, fantastic options menu so far, Wrench. No, we don't need LGB lighting. I don't think we want mouse smoothing. 